what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a psychological horror film, Lunacy. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with its director making an appearance to let us know that we're going to watch a horror film. However, he states that it isn't a work of art because he believes that art is dead in today's world. The director suddenly gets interrupted when a tongue monster slithers away from him. The tongue monster is going to be a recurring theme in the movie to symbolize the hedonistic ways of the modern world. On that note, the director bids us farewell so that we can finally get to the actual movie. Now we see a man named Gene asleep in bed, but he's suddenly woken up by the sounds of loud knocking on his door. His shirt comes to life and opens the door, hinting to us that this is not real life. Now, we see two bald guards making their way inside. Gene tries to resist the bald guards with all his might, but makes a mess of everything in his room. His antics alert everyone outside his room, including a Marcus named Weirdo. It turns out that Gene is only imagining the bald guards in front of him, and he starts a fire in the middle of his solo struggle. Weirdo arrives and slaps Gene to wake him up and bring him to his senses. Gene is ridiculed for his behavior, and then we see the tongue monster again, flexing its juicy tongue. Later, Gene sits next to Weirdo, who behaves in an overly dramatic fashion, as he shares a drink with Gene and mocks his mental health. Suddenly, we see small tongue monsters arriving at a table to drink some beer, symbolizing the harmful effects of alcohol on manners and etiquette. Now Gene prepares to go home and notices a sexy girl named Babe. He stares at her with hormone desire, while she also looks back at him. Weirdo offers Gene a ride on the way, and they get into a Ferrari carriage, even though we see cars on the other side of the road. This is because Weirdo likes to live as per the older eras, as he has rejected modern technology. Weirdo learns that Gene was at his mom's funeral, and she was previously kept inside a mental institution because she was sick. Weirdo asks about Gene's dad, but learns that he had died a while back. As some crazy men fight in the background, Weirdo asks Gene about his dream from last night. Gene says that he experiences hallucinations whenever he's upset, but Weirdo suddenly loses interest and goes to sleep. After some time, Weirdo drops Gene in the middle of nowhere while it rains heavily. Gene starts walking through the puddles, but Weirdo returns to pick him up and says that he was just playing a prank. Then, we see tongue monsters filling up some skulls, signifying the emptiness of the human mind. Now, Weirdo, his bearded assistant, Beardy, reaches home with Gene. Weirdo reveals that he chopped off Beardy's tongue and cruelly laughs at him. The next morning, Gene has breakfast, but feels guilty about exploiting Weirdo's kindness. Weirdo tells him never to mention this sentiment, because he has his reasons for being kind to Gene. However, he doesn't reveal them yet. Later at night, Gene looks out the window and spots Babe getting dragged into the neighboring building. He quickly rushes to see what's going on and peeps into the building like a peeping Tom. There, Gene is shocked to see Weirdo with a cult of shady people eating meat while he angrily hammers away a holy idol. The female cult members disappear under the table, presumably to treat the smelly sausages of the male cult members. In the middle of this session, Babe is seen sucking on her thumb as if she is a possessed demon. It only gets weirder as the female cult members are willingly assaulted by the male cult members after that. Weirdo dresses into a dark priest outfit, and then it's Babe's turn to be assaulted. However, she briefly runs her sexy body away from the cult, hoping to escape. Jean spots Babe's naked body, and she also catches him looking at her body. Babe doesn't feel shy and resumes her escape, but gets caught by a male cult member. She is brought back to the cult and given some unholy punishment, while Jean watches from a distance. Some tome monsters are also seen playing with the holy idol to reflect the sorry state of religion in modern society. The next day, Jean tells Weirdo that he saw the unholy cult orgy, but Weirdo only mocks Jean for being a chicken boy rather than a cowboy. We learn that Weirdo is a nihilist as he goes on a philosophical rant, stating that God is simply a figment of our imagination, and nature is not like a mother because of all the suffering it causes. Weirdo further mocks humans and their base desires, while stating that religion is simply a fantasy. Gene is against his beliefs, but Weirdo mocks his chicken voice once more. Gene says that such blasphemy will lead to Weirdo's death, and that's exactly what happens as Weirdo chokes on a banana while he laughs like a hyena. Gene panics and goes to Beardy to help him with Weirdo's body. The two men drag Weirdo to his bedroom, but Beardy tells Gene to get lost after that. At night, Gene spots Beardy with a coffin and goes to meet him. Beardy gives Gene a letter from Weirdo, which instructs him to do as Beardy says. That's when Beardy forcefully drags Gene to Weirdo's room and makes him put the body inside the coffin. Gene curses Beardy, but he can't speak without his tongue, as mentioned earlier by Weirdo. Beardy points his gun at Gene in a threatening manner and forces him to nail Weirdo's coffin shut. 
As they take the coffin to the graveyard, Gene senses an opportunity to escape. He runs away from the scene, but Beardy acts fast and shoots at him with his gun. This causes an injury, so Gene has to become submissive again. The two enter a secret basement area and eventually bury the coffin over there. After that, Beardy tells Gene that they need to spend the night here, but doesn't mention why. This is confusing for Gene, but he doesn't have a choice. Beardy falls asleep almost immediately, so Gene tries to sneakily steal his gun. However, Beardy is also a light sleeper like a horse, so all of Gene's efforts are in vain. In the morning, Beardy quickly takes Gene to the secret basement after he hears a bell. It doesn't make sense to Gene at first, but then he's shocked to see that Weirdo is the one ringing the bell. Now, Weirdo explains that his mother was accidentally buried alive, and this situation had traumatized him. So in order to deal with it, Weirdo also buries himself alive from time to time to feel connected to his dead mother. However, Gene realizes that Weirdo is keeping him around for the sake of entertainment, not for kindness. This is what Weirdo had meant when he said he had his reasons for helping Gene. At night, Gene has another nightmare about the bald guards and starts to panic all by himself. Once again, it's Weirdo who slaps him to bring him back to his senses. Realizing that Gene needs professional help, Weirdo says that he'll take Gene to a suspicious doctor named Dr. Shady. An animated sequence shows the journey of a chicken getting grilled, and then we see them entering a mental institution, symbolizing how innocent people are also grilled at such institutions. Weirdo continues to taunt Gene about his mental health issues, and even says that he'll end up just like his dead mother. Gene doesn't appreciate this kind of talk, but then he meets Dr. Shady as well as his daughter, who is revealed to be Babe. Now Dr. Shady tells Gene that he can volunteer to be subjected to preventive therapy and proceeds to show him around the institution. Gene spots all kinds of crazy people and also sees a splash of red liquid that looks like blood. Dr. Shady reassures him that it's just paint and shows him a group of crazy men throwing paint balloons at a naked lady. Dr. Shady joins in on the act and tells Gene that everyone is just having fun. After this, a mad lady tries to steal Gene's comb, which belonged to his mom because she mistakes it to be her own. Dr. Shady manages to sort out the issue, but the madness doesn't stop as he has to deal with a couple of mad men who are running around naked. Now, Gene confronts Weirdo for mistreating Babe, claiming that she's his friend's daughter. In order to help Babe, Gene voluntarily stays at the institution, but Weirdo explains that Babe is a nymphomaniac who likes to engage in kinky hormone yoga. At night, Babe snubbles up to Gene and reveals that Dr. Shady isn't her real father, but rather a madman who has locked up the real director of the institution. Later, Weirdo helps Dr. Shady put on his fake facial hair and pose with some mad men. He looks at Gene and asks him if Babe has given him her party piece yet. Gene thinks that Weirdo is disgusting, but is told that Babe gets turned on by the idea of mutiny and rebellion. This makes Gene curious, so he asks Babe about it when she goes to meet him in private. Babe is upset because she thinks that Gene doubts her innocence. In order to prove herself, she takes Gene to the kitchen pantry where she collects some food. Then, she leads him into an underground cell where we see an entire group of mad men covered in feathers. Babe offers them food while Gene is briefly attacked by one of the feather men. She reveals that Dr. Shady has locked these feather men in the cell as part of his sick and twisted experiments. Babe also mentions her wish to free these feather men. The next day, Gene joins Weirdo and the others as they watch a historical play enacted by the mad patients. Weirdo erupts into another one of his nihilistic rants and is celebrated by the others, while Gene rebukes him for misleading those who are mentally ill. None of it matters, as another play begins with Babe as the centerpiece. She is assaulted by one of the mad men, so Gene quickly saves her, while the others cheer for the chaos. Now Doctor and Weirdo decide to celebrate by using Babe for an orgy, but Gene reveals that she has become his fiancée now. The men simply turn to another girl, so Babe decides to sacrifice herself for one last time. She tells Gene that he must free the Feather Men tonight, and then she goes with Weirdo and Doctor. After the men and Babe exit the institution, the patients go crazy. Gene sneaks into Dr. Shady's room so that he can look for the key, which will free the Feather Men from the cell. Meanwhile, Babe gets freaky with Dr. Shady in a sick game of stepdad and stepdaughter. Gene finally locates the key, which is hidden inside a pillowcase. He then frees the Feather Men, and they make it out of their cells, but only wreak havoc everywhere. They also end up knocking down Gene, who faints from the blow. Some tongue monsters massage his smelly ears to hint at the fact that Gene is not always hearing the truth. Later, Gene wakes up to Babe and a religious doctor named Holy stitching up his head. Babe tells Gene that their worst nightmare is over, and Holy asks her to make some tea. He then goes on to tell Gene that Weirdo is an evil man who deserves no sympathy. 
Holy also feels that Dr. Shady is an impressive professional, but has become mad because of Weirdo brainwashing him with his nihilism. Holy is shown to be different from Dr. Shady because he believes in more traditional and holy methods. Holy mentions that his methods include corporal punishment, as he believes the mind can be controlled by abusing the body. Suddenly, Beardy and Weirdo are summoned as the new patients of the institution, but Weirdo still laughs at Gene for not understanding that he is still in danger. Holy inspects Beardy's mouth and comments that his tongue is healing nicely. However, he orders for Beardy to be given a highly torturous treatment named Number 9. It's even worse for Weirdo, who is to be given treatment number 13. Hearing this makes even Weirdo squirm like a scared chicken with goosebumps, and he begs Gene and Babe to save him. It's of no use as he gets taken away to the torture room, but Gene wants to know what these treatments and their numbers symbolize. Holy explains that each treatment is a form of physical torture, aiming to heal mental illness through forced trauma. He adds that the number is simply to signify the intensity of the punishment inflicted upon the subject. Holy gives the example of treatment number 8 being the chopping off of the tongue, like what happened to Beardy's tongue, but not his beard. Gene wants to know what treatment number 13 is, but Holy and Babe shut the door in his face. Things get suspicious as Gene looks out the window to see Beardy with a bunch of other madmen, seemingly being prepared to experience treatment number 9. After some time, Holy comes out of the torture room and Gene tells him he wants to leave. Holy tells him that this won't be possible until 8 a.m. the next morning, even though Gene had voluntarily enrolled in the institution. Now, Gene learns that Holy is the original director of the institution, who was imprisoned by Dr. Shady, as was explained to him earlier by Babe. Gene is also told that Babe won't be able to see him at the night. Panicked and confused, Gene finds the key to the underground cell and goes to check up on Weirdo. There, he finds a blinded man, presumed to be Weirdo, who got tortured with his eyes gouged out. Weirdo mocks Gene for letting Babe trick him into freeing Holy, who was actually a madman, which justified him being locked up as one of the feather men. Gene doesn't believe him and goes to check up on Babe, but finds her in the middle of some kinky hormone yoga with Holy. He finally realizes that Weirdo was right about Babe being turned on by mutiny and rebellion because her entire charade with Gene was to get Holy and the others to rebel against Weirdo and Dr. Shady. Babe starts moaning, and Gene can't take the hormone noise, even after going into his own room. Then, we see a disturbing sequence of chickens feasting on flesh coming from their own eggs. This symbolizes how humans are willing to turn on their own kind, simply to satisfy their twisted urges, just like Babe did with Gene. Suddenly, Gene has another vision of the bald men attacking him, and he creates a mess, just like he did earlier in the movie. Holy goes to his room and slaps him in the exact same manner as Weirdo did. Gene loses his mind and attacks Holy to get revenge for being used as a pawn in, in Babe's sick game. Regardless, it's of no use now, as Holy summons his guards to restrain Gene. They turn out to be the exact same bald guards terrorizing Gene in his dreams earlier. The scene strongly implies that Gene wasn't just experiencing hallucinations in his dreams, but rather, he was manifesting his own future. Holy declares that Gene is mentally ill, so he proposes using treatment number one on him. The movie ends with a shot of packaged meat in the grocery store, which seemingly has a heartbeat, thus symbolizing its similarity to the patients at the mental institution. This Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.